<laughs> what up welcome back to another video guys we are here located at garden state harley davidson and it is thursday nice beautiful cold day out here in dirty jersey blue skies clear skies you can see we got all the 2021s well more of the 2021 models that just rolled in this morning in the truck so right here i have the uh 2021 street glide this one's fully prepped already so i'm going to be taking this one out on a test ride today um these are still to be prepped as you can see they still got all the wrappings on it and stickers and all that good stuff um i was able to put the uh the brand new 2021 special next to the uh street glide stand right here to give you guys a really good comparison um i know people most of the time they want to know what's the huge difference between a street glide standard or a street glide um special and today uh, we're going to be going over all those little changes especially this one this one this year is very important because they did do a lot of changes to this bike um compared to like let's say the special from uh 2020 but really quick right before we uh hop into the review i just want to give you guys a walkthrough of all the uh the rest of the 2021s that came in um if you saw my video uh from a week or two ago when i did a walkthrough of all the bikes inside um they sent a few of them but today we got some more different models so here we have a slim we have a all blacked out road king special we have a street glide special another street glide in black and um the talk of the day the talk of the week everybody's talking about this bike right here uh the new street bob with the 114 this thing is beautiful um yes i will be doing a review on this uh next week so as you can see here we have this beautiful green color this thing is beautiful i i love this color uh, this is one of the first colors that i saw that i really liked um a lot it's just so different um just reminds me of a real army style type of bike i know a lot of veterans are going to be liking this bike right here uh especially with that with that uh with that color right here we got it here in all white as well what you guys think about the tan graphics tan graphics is pretty cool man at first i saw it i'm like ah it's all right but i think now that i'm seeing it in person it's really nice a lot of detail when you uh come up close to here it goes in from lighter to darker really really nice i like that and i gotta say this might be my favorite color right here the black with the orange this is sick right here super clean um so yeah like i said we get the 114 um and then with the pillion seat now for your uh, passenger and passenger packs and here we got the le, the creme of le creme the road glide 2021 road glide special with this two-tone paint job wow i i gotta tell you this is wow seeing this bike up close in person we got the red and the black and right here we have like a little little nice little hint of orange going along the lines um the other bike that has this same paint scheme is uh the heritage heritage also comes with the same paint job it looks really nice but on here it just looks even better just look at those bags this, this bike literally from from a distance just looks like a, a cvo if you didn't know here we have another uh, Street Bob in white. And then we got the uh, the 2021 Fat Boy, all chromed out now. Not with that polished steel anymore. I like the, I like the chrome. I gotta say, I was a huge fan of the polished steel before, but I think it looks better in chrome. They did a, nice, that was a little, nice little minor change they did to it. And then over here real quick, we have three more. Uh, another Fat Boy, another Street Bob, and then another special. The one in the front over there was all blacked out. This is the chrome version. Like I said before, these bikes are not prepped yet. Um, they are still taking off all the wrappers um, and all the, all the accessories they come with right now. They're cleaning them up. They're going to be ready for tomorrow. So if you're in the local area and you are looking for a 2021 model, these are all here. Now, let's get into the uh, the review of the day. The 2021 Street Glide Standard next to the 2021 Street Glide Special. Now, you're probably asking yourself, what is the huge difference? We're gonna be pointing out all the huge difference right now. The standard comes with the 107 engine, special comes with the 114. Now, people always ask me, they always, always ask me, especially since I have a, a 2020 Lowrider S and they compare it to a Lowrider, a Street Bob with the 107. They ask me, what is a huge difference? Guys, the power is not a huge difference. So you're probably looking at a 10% increase with the 114 so it's not a huge thing you could tune this bike up or <laughs> do a stage two and that's it and it'll probably be faster than this one to be honest so engine number one 107 114 next up we're gonna have this little crash bar here that they changed this year it's really nice i like the design of this smaller um the one in the standard is gonna be bigger so as you can see here 
a look around it i love love that that uh that look of it very sleek this one has the bigger engine guard in chrome because the standard only comes in chrome you're only going to get the blacked out option on the uh, special as well now going down to the bags as you can see here the special has the stretch bags they stretch down um they kind of overlap the exhaust right there in the back and as you uh go around the back you can see the indentations here so yes inside here there there is space so you can go in there it's not just there for looks now the standard is just like this they're not stretched they're right over the exhaust i honestly prefer uh the standard bags over the stretch bags honestly especially if you want to do a two and a one exhaust and uh you want the exhaust just you know to look nice you don't got to worry about the gaping holes in the back looking weird on the special um so i do prefer these bags right here i think it looks a little much cleaner now as you can see here they did change the gas cap so we got a gas cap right here which is only one before it was on the center so the standard keeps it right in the middle the special comes with the um the gas tank cap on this side which uh, in my opinion is going to make it much easier for you to fill up your tank as opposed to you know just going down the middle right there so that's another huge difference um when it comes to seats both seats are the same guys um and then obviously on the special we got everything blacked out the standard is all chrome now the new special also comes in chrome like i showed you over there as well so you, that is a plus for 2021 they are giving us the option of getting the special in chrome or black um which is awesome because a lot of people still do prefer the chrome now you're asking yourself well you know what why do i just get a standard and black everything out it's probably going to cost you a lot more money to black everything out than to just um going up to the special and spending an extra four or five thousand dollars on it now another huge thing that they changed this year finally 2021 we have a uh, day maker led day maker here for the special very nice this was black the one for uh the chrome bike the chrome special is going to come with the uh chrome housing on the inside um but this is very very nice as well um then you got the turn signals here not led but the special does come with the smoke lenses which looks really nice as opposed to the standard right here which comes with the uh amber housing right there um what else can we point out the wheels obviously these are the wheels on the standard right here these wheels are very nice i'm a big fan of these wheels but come on <laughs> can you compare it to these wheels real quick like wow let me just show you guys a huge huge difference as well because you see how these are all blacked out on the all blacked out special on the chrome special they're going to be two-tone which looks amazing i just i just noticed that it looks beautiful so the whole wheels is uh black but then you're going to have that, that stainless steel accent on the wheel as well which wow just makes the wheel pop out so much more i'm a really big fan of that that looks really really nice now another huge difference is right here for the interior on the fairing you're going to have the nice glossy black touch on the fairing as opposed to the standard where it's just like a matte plastic cover here um obviously the other one looks much 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 better um you're gonna have the infotainment system both the same on both bikes or your gauge is going to be located here on top as well and that's going to really be the big huge difference between both bikes um this bike i'll show you the uh, msrp right here this bike out the door with uh freight um prep charges is 23,000 that's without the uh, tax 23,724 this is the vivid black and then on the special the special is going to run you around 26 and change depending on what color scheme you go for obviously vivid black being the cheapest color you can get that's just the base color um, when you uh opt out for a different color or even that special two-tone color right there it doesn't cost you an additional a thousand dollars for that paint job right there um but that's the one that's the one i would choose i wouldn't have it any other way now going back to the uh stretch bags let me just show you guys inside how they look very nice so as you can see in there you have that little space where where it stretched down that pretty nice and you have a you know ample amount of space in here for you to carry your stuff and your belongings now right here you're gonna have a compartment for you to store any little device you have not that much space where you can put something in there but you have a usb charger in there as well you can store that most of the space is obviously going to be on the bags 
overall beautiful beautiful bike now the type of person who's going to want to get this type of motorcycle is going to be the type of person who wants to do a lot of highway miles maybe some cross-country trips um if you're on the east coast you want to you know take a few rides down to florida down to the the southern states or just ride across the country um some people just get baggers just because they like the whole aesthetics of it just for the simple fact that they have bags um and you're able to carry a few things in there you have the infotainment system you have navigation you have your music you could jam along as you ride and then the the huge plus of a big gas tank as well which is also a plus um be a huge difference uh compared to one of these bikes that you would just choose to um you know go bar hopping or use as a around a town bike type of thing such as a slim or one of these beautiful new street bobs right here these are the type of bikes that um the younger crowd gets attracted to right away just because of the way it looks they uh they have that classic harley davidson look to them and uh they're fun bikes they're light obviously these bikes are much heavier now i'm a huge fan of these uh dresser bikes and um i always tell people that i'm interested in getting one later on and and they always ask me hey well you know what type of riding do you do and i'm like hey, you know i do a lot of local rides and um probably two or three hundred miles in a day if anything I i'm not the long distance rider per se um not yet and they always tell me well you, you don't you don't need one then and then it's like well <laughs> i don't have to get it just because I'm not doing super long miles. Like uh, I'm a huge fan of the bike. I just think the bike is a beautiful bike in general. And um, as I'm spending more time and time on the saddle, I'm uh, I'm wanting to do longer miles and wanted to do longer trips and take these bikes out to do different things with them. And um, that's one thing that uh, that I'm getting accustomed to and getting used to. Uh, this year we're planning a few long trips. We're trying to go to Canada. We're trying to go to maybe uh, Virginia. So these are really long trips where, you know, I'm going to probably have to maybe rent one of these bikes so I can be super comfortable. And now I'll take my uh, my 2020 Lowrider S and do it on that. But obviously this, this bike is meant for these long trips. It's meant for you to be comfortable um, as well if you're going to be uh, carrying a passenger with you. Uh, the seats are pretty plush. Um, it comes already two up. Your passenger pegs are right there. And that's pretty much it. I think um, we can throw a leg over her, take her out, and uh, see how she feels on the road. Infotainment system, all touchscreen, which is a plus. Got my Torque gloves. Guys, if you like these gloves, these are from Torque. Use my uh, my promo code, MK15. You get 15% off across the website. <laughs> there she goes. Now, must I mention the best part about these baggers? is the wind protection that you're going to be receiving from the huge fairings in the front believe me being on a bike doing a few hundred miles without any type of fairing that alone will get your body really tired really fatigued the fact that these bikes um come with these big cat fairings right here it's a big plus and then you're also able later on to uh change out these little screens in the front get taller ones if you like switch over to the side so smooth just a nice nice ride <laughs> it's uh it's, it's always a good day when you can sit on a bike and just smile from ear to ear just just because that's when you know that the bike just feels great and it just might be the bike for you. <laughs> you know, we do have floorboards on here. I'm not used to floorboards. Like I said, I have a 2020 Lowrider S and I have a 2015 Dyna Lowrider and um, no floorboards for me. On those bikes is uh, mid controls. Now for 2021, they uh, did go back to cable clutches on the baggers. Um, a lot of people are upset about that. Some really don't care. Me personally, I prefer cable clutches. Um, at first when they came out with the uh, hydraulic clutches, they were saying that it was gonna be a little uh, much easier for you to maneuver and uh, um, just pulling the trigger, but I don't think so. I, I, I think hydraulic clutches are 
a bit much more firm and they're harder to pull on. The cable clutch to me just, it seems more natural, more comfortable. Now, as far as the riding position, the ergonomics and everything, these are stock bars. They feel relatively comfortable. They feel really, really good. My arms have a slight bend to them. I'm like at a, at a seated position where I'm sitting upright, very comfortable. I could literally sit on this bike for hours and hours and hours and um, probably just want to keep riding. And look at this, so maneuverable, so nice. Like I said, yes, they're really heavy, but once you get them rolling, it's um, very, very simple. So light and easy to maneuver the bike. Now, can you just imagine yourself on a hot summer day rolling down your local streets you have your music going on you're feeling good you're getting some sun you're getting some wind some wind therapy and you're just cruising and listening to music and just you're just going wherever the bike takes you no plans just going out there to clear your mind that is what riding one of these bikes is all about the joy you get from these things is just unspeakable i can't even uh describe it even me i'm just i'm just chilling right now this, this is you know low speed chilling and i feel very very comfortable i wish i could just take this bike home and just go for a long ride <laughs> I like the fact that the infotainment system is so clean. It's right, right ahead of you. Your gauges are right in front of you, which is um, a plus. You don't need to look down anywhere. You're not taking your, your eyes off the road, really. On my bikes, my gauges are down here. That's why I'm thinking about relocating my gauges up where um, uh, my risers are at, where my bar setup is at, so I can just have uh, an easier access to my gauges. Like I said, she handles very, very well. Feels great. Let's see if we can turn here. Nope, can't turn here. Should have turned up that way. Now, I am 5'7", and um, I'm almost able to flat foot this bike, to be honest. This bike does not sit very tall, which is a plus, because you would think it would. So for us shorter guys, just know that you'll be fine. If you're around 5'7 or so, you'll be good. If you're shorter, eh, I don't know. <laughs> Guess we'll uh, pop a Yui right here. See the maneuverability of this bike. There we go. Would you guys, let me know your thoughts down below. Would, would you guys love to see this view in a few months? Would you guys love to see me get on a bagger? <laughs> I'm like really, really contemplating on getting one of those specials. Whether it be in a road glide or whether it be in a street glide, I have not yet decided on. I like this. This feels very, very comfortable. I'm a huge fan of the road glide. The thing with the road glide is that it kind of feels like you're holding your bars over here, but then the fairing is like all the way where that car is at. That's what it kind of feels like when you're riding one, but I don't know, man. Like this, like, I feel like this just fits me perfect. I'm going to have to take out that special out for a ride. And we're going to be doing that next week or probably Sunday. So uh, in two or three days, you'll see another review on the Road Glide. So tune in. If this is the type of content you are into, guys, and you want to see more of these 2021 models, then you're in the right place. Go ahead, subscribe. Hit that bell button. That's going to notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. I upload at least twice or three times, sometimes five times a week. 
So a lot of Harley Davidson news, a lot of uh, reviews, group rides, a little bit of everything on this channel. So let me just thank you ahead of time for watching my future content. Thank you for watching today. That being said, if you are in the local area, New Jersey, New York, check out Garden State Harley Davidson. Ask for Rob. Tell him I sent you, Marvel Kid sent you, and he'll definitely hook you up. Six years of joy. That's what you're going to get with this bike. Six years of memories. Fun and adventure. Now let's talk about comfort real quick. The ride out here is extremely comfortable. This thing just eats little little holes. Any uh, grooves on the road, it eats it all up. With that being said, there is still a bit of improvement for suspension. Now, like I was mentioning before, everything on here is touchscreen on the infotainment system, but you also have access right here, toggling this to raise your music, um, raise your volume, go to the next uh, station, uh, move around with the uh, navigation if you want. It's a lot of stuff you can do on here. Let me see. There we go. So you're able to maneuver around. Now I have taken the road glide out and I've been on a few different street glides. And um, they both handle the same, guys. The street glide is going to be frame mounted. So wherever you turn, your forks, your uh, fairing is going to move with it as well. As opposed to the road glide, which is not frame mounted, um, that fairing always stays looking ahead. It's going to be looking straight at all times. So even if you move your bars this way, the fairing stays looking forward. Um, and a lot of people like to say that because of that, the road glide handles differently and handles much better. And it, it doesn't. It's it handles absolutely the same <laughs> it really does now the seat comfort really really comfortable very plush i would change it out though no matter what just because preference and one of the best things about harley davidson is you just customize your bike to your liking and however you want your bike to look like i think that's gonna be it guys thank you so much for watching if this is the type of content you're into you're definitely in the right place go ahead hit that subscribe button hit that bell button it's gonna notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. And that's gonna be it. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.